Hi friends, it's Mr. Mark and Grace. You're here, we're here. Let's spend some time together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I love that we get to spend time together, growing together, supporting each other, and remembering that the best things in life are worth the wait. And it's a chance to get to see what's in the box that Gracie brought. Let's find out what's in the box. Here we go. Let's sing our song. What's in the box today? What's in the box today? Tell us, tell us, tell us, please. What's in the box today? And in the box today, it is a calendar. And in the calendar, this is my calendar, and I've got all the stuff written down, the things to do, the things to remember. This was my calendar in March filled with all kinds of things that I ended up not getting to do. And then there are later months, months coming up that are completely empty because we don't know what we're going to do yet. And that reminds me of our Bible story today. <clears throat> Here's our Bible, the book of God's love. Let's sing our song together. Here we go. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. This is the Bible, the book of God's love. Written by people, inspired from above. Oh, this is the Bible, the book of God's love. And today's story comes from the Old Testament. This is about the Joseph in the Old Testament. Not the Joseph who was Jesus' father on earth, but from the book of Genesis, Joseph. And it's about patience. And you have a very important part. Listen carefully. Every time you hear me say the word wait or waited, you have to respond with this. Patience, patience, the best is yet to come. Let's try that together. Here we go. Patience, patience, the best is yet to come. Good job. Okay, listen to me. Watch Gracie. And here we go. Jacob had many sons. The son he spent the most time with was Joseph. Jacob even had a special coat made just for Joseph. The other sons thought their father loved Joseph more than them. This made them very upset. One night, Joseph had a dream, and he couldn't wait. Patience, patience, the best is yet to come, to tell his brothers all about it. He dreamed that he was gathering wheat, and then he tied all the stems into one big sheaf. And in the dream, his sheaf of wheat stood straight and tall, while his brothers bowed well. It didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what that dream meant, as brothers thought. So, not only does Joseph get a special coat from our father, but he thinks we're all just going to bow down to him because he's so awesome. You're going to get yours, Joseph. Just you wait. Patience, patience, the best is yet to come. It went on like this for a while. Joseph having dreams about stuff bowing, and the brothers getting angrier and angrier. But the brothers waited. Patience, patience, the best is yet to come. Finally, they had their chance. When no one else was looking, they took Joseph's beautiful coat, and they threw him into a deep pit. There he sat, sad and alone, and he waited. Patience. Patience, the best is yet to come. Along came some traders riding camels on their way to Egypt. The brothers sold Joseph to the traders and told their father that Joseph had died. That made their father very sad. But Joseph wasn't dead. He had been taken to Egypt, where he was sold into the court of the Pharaoh. Life wasn't any better for Joseph in Egypt. 
he was even thrown into jail for something he didn't do. And there in jail, he waited. Patience, patience, the best is yet to come. But while Joseph waited, patience, patience, the best is yet to come. He interpreted the dreams of some of the other prisoners. And he was always right. Word had spread all the way to Pharaoh about Joseph's amazing ability to tell people what their dreams meant. Pharaoh sent for Joseph and told him about a scary dream he had. Seven fat, healthy cows were grazing, and then came seven skinny, sick cows, and they ate the seven fat ones. Pharaoh waited, patience, patience, the best is yet to come for Joseph's reply. And that's where we're going to stop our story. Ooh, a cliffhanger. You're just going to have to have patience for the second half of that story. <clears throat> you know, this that we're going through right now, where we're staying home and sheltering in place, we all want it to be done. I feel the same way. I'm ready to see my friends again, to go to my favorite places again, to hang out with my neighbors again, to go to church again, to see my family who lives in another town. I want to, I want to do all those things. It's been a long time. Now, there's our time, and there's God's time. Sometimes God's time is fast, faster than our time. Sometimes God's time can be slow. What we have to do is trust to do everything we know we're supposed to do, to do the right thing, but then trust that God's time is the best time and to have patience. You know, so many of the great people in the Bible that we read about, they weren't born patient. They learned patience by situations they were put in. And we've all been in situations where we had to learn to be patient. Patience is waiting in a long line for a short and fun ride. Patience is waiting for the pizza to cool down just enough so that you can eat it without burning the roof of your mouth. Patience is doing all the little things that we know God needs us to do to get a little bit better every day trusting that the best is yet to come. And that reminds me of a song. And this song is based on words from the book of Romans in the New Testament. Now, we're all going to pat our chest along with it, and I'll sing the first part. It goes like this. If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. And then you sing the word patience, okay? But you've got to wait to sing the word patience. Watch me and Gracie, okay? Here we go. If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Good. If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Patience can help us when we're stressed, trusting that God's time is the best. If we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Very good. Yeah, patience is important. Once again, like all those great leaders in the Bible, they weren't born with patience, but they were put in situations and they learned patience. We're in a time now where learning to be patient is going to pay off now, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. We can do it. I believe in you. Let's close with a prayer experience. Repeat after me. Loving God. Loving God. Grant us. Grant us. Patience. Patience. Amen. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. 
everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Friends, trust the helpers. Trust God. Be patient.